well here we are going to see how to create the views right in the last tutorial we have seen what do you mean by view how to create the view okay which will take us to or which will deviate us to new concept called as context what do you mean by context see edit text is the view right edit text is the view and edt I can say variable name and username I can say something like this let me comment for now let me remove that set content before now edt username and I want to create the object new edit text right I'm creating new object edit text and can you see it is giving me the error it is asking me for something over here it is asking me for something over here now let's go to the edit text source and see what it is asking us see this thing edit text is extending to the text view and text view is extending to the view means edit text is nothing but what view by the fundamental principle of what you can say inheritance but it is asking me one object of type context what is that and what should I pass over here so it is asking me the context right it is asking me the context what should I pass over here and first what do you mean by context very much important topic is the context what do you mean by context okay so only one good resource to learn about this is the documentation the people who return the definition of the context that people can tell you very nicely what do you mean by context is and this is about that see in the documentation itself they have clearly noted the global information about the application environment first thing about the context what it what it is global information about an application environment I want to get my private storage context will help you I want to get resources of application context will help you I want to get database access context will help you whatever related to the application environment context will help you in that case right they have clearly noted over here right there is no debate on this fine now this is an abstract class yeah that's we can see it's an abstract class means you cannot create object of this system will take care of that that's what they have said over here it's an abstract whose implementation is provided by the Android system that's fine we got it now it allows access to application specific resources and the classes as well as it calls for application level operations such as launching the activities broadcasting and receiving the intents so use of the context is accessing application specific resources and the classes accessing the application specific resources and the classes right accessing the application specific resources and the classes and in addition to that calling for application level operations such as launching new activities new activities mean nothing but new screens you can say broadcasting and receiving the intents broadcasting and receiving the intents that is the responsibilities of the context now yes we got that what do you mean by context right but why this constructor is asking me for the context because if you can go to the edit text class edit text is extending to the text view and text view is extending to the view and view is having one constructor view with the context can you see that 
this view class is having this constructor there is a no default constructor there is a no default constructor view is having constructor with the parameter as the context and that's why it is coming to all the children the classes which are implement extending to the view class they have to override this constructor they have to provide implementation to this constructor right so they don't they cannot have the default constructor if they have then also they have to provide this constructor in every single child because parent is missing which constructor default constructor that's why okay i got it now we 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 cleared that why do we need context over here but what should i pass how should i satisfy over here how should i satisfy that constructor over here what should i pass now it is clear that context is an abstract class context is an abstract class right it is very much clear that context is an abstract class you cannot do something like this new context over here new context over here context absolutely is an abstract class if you can do this thing you will be getting this error see context is abstract class cannot be instantiated then what should i pass that's the question right but in the context definition they have written something that system has provided the implementation inbuilt system has provided the implementation inbuilt now i know that what do you mean by context so i can write directly this over here so that i can direct, directly write this over here and i also know that this this is nothing but the current object of main activity class so this would be pointing to object of main activity class see i'll show you that main activity m is equals to write this and you can pass m over here that's fine now one thing is clear that edit text is asking you for the context you are passing object of main activity right means what you are doing edit text constructor or view constructor is asking you for context object and you are passing object of main activity now if you are a good programmer you can relate this how you will relate this if you are a good programmer this is very much easy to relate by this form in front of you it is asking you object of context you are passing object of main activity it clearly depicts that main activity should be or main activity is a context main activity should be extending to the context let's traverse to this once again so we have reached to the activity in the earlier right so i'll directly go to the activity activity is extending to the context theme wrapper context theme wrapper is extending to the context wrapper and context wrapper is extending to the context means your activity is nothing but what context activity is a context remember that activity i can write over here is that activity is a context activity is a context and that's why i can pass object of activity over here which is nothing but the m in this case is that clear activity extends context theme wrapper context theme wrapper sorry activity extends context theme wrapper context theme wrapper extends context wrapper and context wrapper extends context and that's why your activity is nothing but the activity this activity is nothing but the context theme wrapper and context theme wrapper is nothing but the context and context 
wrapper is nothing but this context right and that's why instead of context object you can pass object of activity just fit this line in your brain why you are passing object of this or object of current activity over here because current activity and the context are same is a relationship is there well remember this golden rule you would be making android programming very much fluently well we'll meet in the next tutorial with some new codes and new new concepts right i'm going to create layout object in the next tutorial and into that layout object i'm going to insert this edit text so keep watching what i'm going to do